Hey 407 community, today I am here in Magic Kingdom with one of our travel agents, Steven, and we just saw the brand new Country Bear Musical Jamboree here at Magic Kingdom. So we're gonna tell you what we thought about it, but we were here on opening day, July 17th. Always exciting to experience a brand new attraction. Absolutely, <laughs> um, I loved it. I think it's a nice, like almost highlights reel of the original show. And what we were saying is it's very Nashville country, more modern, um, the glitz and glam country. Uh, less old frontier land-y vibes. I don't know if that makes any sense, but yeah. <laughs> that makes a lot of sense. Yeah, it definitely had more of the Nashville style as opposed to, like we said, more Western. So it's more like you put on modern day radio station Absolutely. country, yeah. which I appreciate that. And I think that's kind of the theme they're going with everything with this is keeping it fresh for the next generation. It's a fresh of, like, take. Absolutely. Kids now know that, yes, this is now country. So yeah, they've definitely kept this now current for the next generation. Absolutely. Yeah. And I think it's going to appeal to a broader audience, um, especially like the non-Disney fan who is their first time seeing the show. They're going to be more like, oh, wait, I recognize these songs with a nice country twist. Mm -hmm. And you can sing along. A lot of people were singing along, clapping along. It's a lot more interactive than the old show. But obviously, we love the old show, too. <laughs> So, yeah. It is true that if you were a Country Bear fan before, you would know Big Al's song, you would know all the songs, but like you said, yeah, if you're coming as your first time Disney vacationer, you didn't know all the songs were different. Now, if you come here for the first time, but you're a Disney fan, you can recognize they have songs from Frozen, from Aladdin, Aladdin they have like yeah. all of the Disney Zootopia times. even, yeah. Yeah, so it's definitely a lot more for, I think, the current generation. Kids will be able to identify with the show knowing like, oh, I love that movie. Like there was a lot of kids around us you could see Absolutely. clapping along. They were engaged the entire time. So yeah, it was very good. And I, I like, like you had pointed out that there were some Easter eggs. Yes, yeah. and um, a few Easter eggs hinting back to the old show. I loved all the different Easter eggs in the um, the pre-show, like in the waiting area. That was pretty cool too, you know. And then there's little things throughout the show, like one of the bears shakes and it makes that same noise that we remember from the old show. Um, Sammy the raccoon makes an appearance. I was hoping we would see him. He was the raccoon that would pop out during the Davy Crockett song in the original show, if anybody remembers that. But no, it was it was amazing. And oh, and the the different um, Buff and Max and is that one's name? Oh, the, Melvin. Melvin. Yes, Buff, the Max, Max and Melvin. Dumb. They interact a lot more with the show now, so that that was a cool twist. So before it was kind of like them listening along, now they like sing along and yes. are a lot more interactive. So that so, was really cool too. I think everyone's always loved them. So yeah, I thought that was neat too, that they brought them kind of a little tie-in into the show. Absolutely. So the runtime with this, it's right under about 10 minutes for a runtime. So it's just like that nice little break. We do think it is a bit shorter than the original show. Yeah. A little and, bit. And you can kind of feel it a little bit if you're used to the original show. Um, they kind of combine some of the Bears songs. Like they'll do like the, the three bears um, that sang the song, every guy that turns me on turns me down. They are now combined with Trixie. Um, so they have a song together. So it's a lot of like compilation type songs too, which was an interesting twist for sure. So Stephen, where can people find you at to follow along? He just got here today for his Disney vacation. I did, I did. <laughs> so I'm at um, Soaring with Stephen on Instagram and it's Soaring like the ride, so S. O A R I N with Steven with a PH. And my agent page would be Stephen B at 407vacations.com. The one and only original country band musical tambourine featuring a wild and wooly assortment of grizzled old grizzlies singing a little country, a little western, and a whole lot of everything in between. So get 